Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make five different vehicles that you can use throughout your city. We have a small car, a slightly bigger car, a sports car, which is ironically kind of sort of smaller, a big boy car, and also the humble motorcycle. These builds can be placed anywhere in your city, whether it's in the base of your multi-story car park, at a baseball field, at your local convenience store, maybe even at a fancy hotel, or maybe even at the top of your multi-story car park. <laughs> <laughs> I will block for block show you how to make every single one of these vehicles. I will make them in the order that I showed you them in. As a matter of fact, you can even see on the screen right now a timestamp for where you would have to go to make each individual car. Additionally, I will leave that same information in the description. I will also provide you different color combinations you can use to make the car, and I'll even show you how much space is needed to make all of them as well and that's it i do hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you do please do remember to hit that like button as it really does help me and the channel out i worked really hard on this one and i do hope that you guys appreciate it but without any further ado let's get carted i mean started I'm so dumb. So the first vehicle that we are going to make is the smallest of the cars. It requires all of these materials that you can see on the screen right now. It is primarily made out of wool. You are more than welcome to change the color. And as a matter of fact, here are all of the color possibilities that you can change the car to. The car at its base, without taking into consideration any item frames or tripwire hooks, will require a 3x6 block area to make. Feel free to make this grid in your world if you are planning out the build. It is the yellow concrete rectangle. Let's do it! So, the first thing you are going to want to do in constructing your car is make a horizontal row of three wool. One, two, three. Three. Behind that row, you want to place a black concrete on the left, a black concrete on the right, and your choice of wool in between. Place two rows of wool behind that row, and then make another row with a black concrete on the left, on the right, with your wool in between. Place a final row of wool at the back, to give you this nice, even shape. What we now want to do is we want to use our carpet to fill in the front two wheels. We want to place glass pane behind those two wheels on top of the wall. Extend the left and right sides backwards. Place light blue wool on top of the back pair of wheels glass pane in between them, string or carpet in the center of the square, and place wool on top of all of the raised walls, glass, and on top of the string in the center, unless you use the carpet, which is a valid building choice. You may choose to also add more carpet onto the front of the bonnet, like this, so it's all the same height. I would recommend placing item frames on the front left corner, the front right corner of the car, the back left corner, and the back right corner of the car. We are going to fill the front item frames in using white concrete as headlights, and on the back we are going to use red concrete as brake lights, like so. We are going to use a grill on the front of the car. This can be achieved by placing a ladder, or you could in fact use a furnace or a trapdoor, many options. I am quickly going to get rid of these materials here, as we will only need stone buttons and tripwire hooks. Stone buttons are going to be used on the sides of the wheels, like this. And we're going to use a tripwire hook at the back, and that's kind of just the release for the boot, or the trunk, depending on where you're from. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is car number one, 
complete. The second vehicle that I will show you how to make is the slightly larger car. It requires all of these materials that you can now see on the screen right now. Feel free to change the color of the car. Just as with the previous vehicle, you can use any color of wool as long as it also has the carpet variant. Feel free to pick any one of these colors that you can see on the screen right now. The amount of space required to make the car is a 3 by 6 block area. This does not take into account headlights and the trip wire hook which is the catch release on the back. Let's do it! So our first task in making this car is to create a raised row of three stone slabs. So to use this I'm going to use a block just to the side and I want to have a row of three half raised stone slabs off the ground like this. Then behind this row I want to place black concrete on the left and right and stone slabs in the center. I want to have two whole rows of stone slabs moving backwards from the row we just made. We then want to place black concrete on the left and right ends of the row with smooth stone slabs in between. Then place another full row of smooth stone slabs coming out of the back of the second wheel area to give us this shape. I would highly recommend simply filling in the entire bed of the car with your wool of choice. Theoretically, we should leave a little bit of a gap for where the driver should sit, but no one's driving these cars. Once you have added a bed of wool, we want to carefully begin from the front of the car, leave a row of one, and on the second row place an entire row of glass pane. Place orange wool behind the left and right side of pane, with glass coming out of the back of each wool. Place an additional wall behind each glass, with glass pane connecting them together at the back in the middle. This time I'm going to use orange carpet on the two inside blocks, and additionally on top of every single glass and raised wall that we have. This will create the roof of the car and you will find that the carpets have the same properties as the string when it comes to placing blocks on top of them. I'm going to place item frames on the front left, front right, back right and black back left corners of the car and I'm going to place red concretes in the back pair of item frames and white concretes in the front pair of item frames. Additionally, I'm going to place a ladder in the center in between the front pair to make a grill. We are now going to swap out these materials and we are going to grab a sign of any color, trip wire hooks and also feel free to just use a button of any color. We're going to begin by placing a sign in front of the middle smooth stone slab on the front of the car. We also want the exact same on the back. These are just license plates or number plates. Feel free to write in them. We're also going to place buttons on the sides of the wheels. And we're going to place a trip wire hook in between the back pair of lights as kind of like a catch release for the boot slash trunk slash whatever it may be called anywhere else in the world. This is what your car will look like once it has been 100% fully completed. Also, feel free to make little changes like adding door handles to the car if you feel as though it would improve it. The third vehicle that we are making is a sports car. It's one sporty boy. Here are all of the materials that you will need to make the car. Feel free to change the color of those materials. You may use any block that has a stair and slab counterpart. I would also recommend adding a colorful streak up the center of the car. It is usually made out of quartz slabs, but if you are making a car that is made out of quartz, like I'm going to, then you're going to want to change the color of that streak to something else. 
literally any colour. Here are some examples of stairs and slabs that you may want to use in the car's construction. Pick any of those that you like. The amount of space to make the sports car is a 3 by 6 block area. Please make sure that you have enough room to make it. Let's do it! So, the first thing that we have to do in making the sports car is place a stairs block facing towards us. Then, place an alternate slab block to the right of the stair. Then, place a stair to the right of the slab. We want to place black concrete behind both stairs. And you want to use two slabs to form a solid block in between them. We are going to place upside down quartz stairs behind the black concrete blocks. And we want to be able to place opposite facing upside down quartz stairs behind those. You will have to get creative. I want you to place black concrete behind that second pair of stairs, upside down quartz stairs underneath or rather across the back of the car connecting both sides together, and we are going to fill the base of this in. I would recommend using the primary colour of the car, in this case I'm using quartz slabs, I probably wouldn't use the secondary colour. On top of the front pair of wheels, use a carpet that best matches the primary colour of the car. If it's white, use white carpet. If it's purple, use purple, orange, orange, so on and so forth. We are going to place a row of glass behind the carpeted area. We're going to extend the left and right blocks backwards. Place an entire row of stairs behind these glass. Place an iron bar on the back left and the back right corners of your car. Place the primary colour of the car in slab form on top of both iron bars. This may be tricky. And then place the secondary colour in between them. We are going to use quartz slabs, or in this case, the primary colour of the car slabs, on top of the left side of the windshield and the right side of the windshield. And we want to continue by connecting them together by placing the secondary colour in between. We're going to place buttons in the sides of the wheels, like this, and we're going to place item frames in the front left corner, the front right corner of the car, the back left corner and the back right corner of the car. I'm going to get rid of these materials and I will grab white concrete, red concrete and signs. In the back pair of item frames I'm going to place red concrete, in between them an oak sign or any sign will do. And on the front of the car, I'm going to place white concretes in the item frames, and you can place a sign, but I actually feel as though that that somewhat ruins the shape of the car. This is what your sports car should look like once it has been 100% fully completed. Also, of course, do feel free to add any additional details that you feel as though I may have missed. Our fourth vehicle is the largest of the five. It's an SUV slash 4x4 slash whatever else you want to call it. It's a big boy. To make it, you will need all of these materials that you can see on the screen right now. However, you are more than welcome to make it out of any block that has a slab and stairs variant. As long as you have a slab and stairs that pair together, you can make it out of those. Here are some examples of blocks that you might be able to use to make an SUV. Feel free to make it out of any of those or your own favorite. The amount of space needed to make the SUV is a four by six block area. And once again, this does not take into account the headlight area or the rear of the car either. Let's do it. So the first thing that we have to do, as with car number two, we have to create a solid block off to the side of where we want to start. 
as we want to create a row of one, two, three, four stone slabs that are hovering half a row off the ground. Behind these stone slabs, we want to place a black concrete on the left and right sides. Join them together using stone slabs and place two entire rows behind the wheels. One, two. Place black concrete on the left and right side with smooth stone in between. Place an entire row of smooth stone behind to create the base of your vehicle. We now have to place on the front left and front right corner of the frame sideways facing stairs. Place any kind of furnace, whether it be blast or regular, in between the stairs. Place an entire row of solid block behind these. Whatever block you're using, you want to place the solid block version behind. Extend the left and right side backwards by one. You then want to place upside down stairs behind each of those blocks. Place two solid blocks behind those stairs and join them together at the back. We are going to place stairs on the back two corners of the build with glass block in between. Place two glass pane coming forwards from each stair. One, two, one, two. Place a solid block in front glass pane coming across the front of that, the end result should be this. I want you to use smooth, or rather, I want you to use any slabs, and I want you to cover up the top of the empty space at the top of your vehicle. I will leave it up to you to decide whether or not you want to kind of just add a little bit more slabbage at the back here whether to cover up the top of the glass or whether to just create a solid roof or alternatively you don't even have to have a back window although that makes the vehicle look ever so slightly more like a van I will leave those decisions up to you we are going to place item frames in front of the front two corners of the car off the two front corners and also off the back two corners as well we can switch out these materials for these are the mandatory materials white concrete, red concrete, tripwire hook and some sort of sign however if you are also making an orange car I would recommend the acacia trapdoors and acacia pressure plane this isn't applicable really to any of the other vehicles unless you're making out of something weird like dark oak wood or birch wood but with this vehicle in particular, you can create a grill in front of the furnaces using some acacia trap doors. And on top of the furnaces, you can place some pressure plates and it kind of looks good. You will see that with the other vehicles though, you don't have to have that and it kind of makes the car look a little bit meaner if you don't have the grill on it. Again, these are design choices that I'll leave up to you. Coming back over to this vehicle, we are going to use white concrete in the front of the headlights, we're going to use red concrete for the rear headlights, we're going to use birch sides in front of the back to middle smooth stones, trip high wire hooks above as catch releases for the boots. We are also going to create two signs below the grill area aka the furnaces and we're only missing one thing, which is stone buttons, which have miraculously appeared in my inventory. I'm sure I didn't forget them. And we're going to place stone buttons in the sides of the wheels. And this will create quite a rugged and large car. I'm sure you could build something that is larger, but... For the sake of this tutorial, and for the sake of most of the car parking spaces that I make, this is probably about as big as I would make it unless I was specifically making something huge.
This is what your SUV should look like once it has been 100% fully completed. Except, of course, I imagine yours is in your colour of choice. The fifth and final vehicle that I'm showing you how to make is a motorbike, aka motorcycle, aka speedy boy. Well, here are all of the materials that you are going to need to make your motorbike. There really isn't that much colour on the bike itself, however, if you want to change the colour, I would highly recommend these materials on the screen right now. Basically, any colour of concrete that you like, however, you can pretty much use any block you like. Feel free to make a glowstone bike if you want to. I probably wouldn't recommend that, that cannot look that good. Um, uh, ew. The amount of space required to make your bike is a 1x5 block area on the ground. Make sure you've got enough room to build this one. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. So, the first thing that we're going to do in making our bike is place a black concrete on the ground. We want to place a quartz slab on top of the concrete, but we also want to place two quartz slabs behind the upper half of the black concrete. One. Two. I then want you to place a black concrete behind. I want you to place your colourful block of choice on top of the black concrete. Place a smooth stone slab in front. Place another colourful block in front of the smooth stone. Place a quartz slab coming out of the lower half of your colourful block of choice. We are going to place buttons on the sides of the wheels. We're going to place levers or levers, completely depending on however that's supposed to be pronounced, out of the front colourful block. Those are handlebars, and they're very fun to play with. And last but not least, this is a design choice. I like the idea of having saddlebags on the bike. So, basically, item frames with chests on the back of the bike and it just looks as though you've got a bit of storage. I don't know, that's kind of up to you as to whether or not you want to add those. Here is what your motorbike should look like once it has been 100% fully completed, whether or not you decided to add these saddlebags, and of course, it will be in your colour of choice. And believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, that is all of the vehicles complete. I do hope that you have made one, two, three, or maybe even all of the vehicles that I've showed you. I hope that this tutorial has been of some use to you, and you now have a city that is sprawling with vehicle life. And just so that you guys don't have to make the vehicles to see whether you like them, You'll now be able to see on the screen a couple of other different colour combinations for your vehicles that you may or may not want to try out for yourself. My personal favourite set is the sports cars as we have a blue, orange, purple and of course the white and red one. The SUVs look also kind of funky too, but honestly... Just for simplistic sake, the motorbikes are kind of sort of cool. You can make them out of any concrete and they're so fast to make you could load a world up fast with those. If you did enjoy this tutorial, please do remember to hit that like button as it really helps me and the channel out very, very much. If you are new around here and you aren't subscribed, please subscribe and click that little bell next to the subscription button to ensure that you get all my stuff sent directly to your sub box. And not only that, of course, if you want to see something specific on the channel, then please do leave a suggestion. The reason that I made all of these is because I got so many suggestions to make some cars and vehicles for your cities that I just couldn't ignore you guys. Hopefully you should be seeing some of yourselves on the screen right now, actually. Thank you so much for leaving the suggestion. But if you would like to make any more city-related builds, whether it be vehicle-related or car park-related or... Baseball feel related. We make so many different things on this channel. It's not just one thing Check out the card system the description below and I'll even leave a link at the top of the description for you We make so many different kinds of city builds around here if you're making a city or a town or something Something trust me with we've, uh, we've probably maybe got it in the playlist. So feel free to check it out 
And that's it. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate all of you very, very much. I'm going to jump off the top of this hotel to show you how much I appreciate and love all of you so, so, so much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Maybe I'll even land on my sports car. Goodbye. Oh, no. No, the, the, the sports car is safe. <laughs> P.S. Now that I've kind of made all of these vehicles in my world and I've got a giant car park filled with them, I'm kind of starting to think that I should open, like, my own used car lot. Hey, looking for a car? What can I get you? I'm gonna cut the video off right now. Goodbye!